Hello, this is Javita, and welcome to another episode of Seven Days to Die. Uh, I've just been doing some inventory management, and actually, um, it's not entirely accurate because I did uh, mostly mining. So my inventory is a little bit not as clean as it should be. <laughs> but get this kind of spruced up here. I did do a little experiment with the forge. I might throw in a clip of that of actually doing it. I did record it, but basically I threw an old iron pickaxe into the forge and I got uh, 200 iron. Uh, and then I looked to see just how much forged iron it takes, which was, I believe, 20, which, look, requires 200 iron. So I got all the iron back. You know, what I lose out on is the clay and the wood. But as far as conserving metal, that's a pretty decent way of doing it. You know, I could scrap it, but I would, you know, lose a bunch of iron. Uh... Or I could repair it, and that's just dumping more iron into something that's going to get worse. <laughs> but, well, that's kind of a little buggy. This is essentially what I did last night, other than, you know, working on inventory. Uh, at the worst, it's going to be kind of like a little escape tunnel. And at best, uh, hopefully I'll run on to some minerals of some sort. You know, iron, lead... Um, Maybe some coal. Oh, wow. <laughs> kind of have a, a wandering party, I guess. Here's somebody, yeah. Straggler. Just try not to back into my own spikes. <laughs> oh, whoa. Where the heck did you come from? Oh, they're, <laughs> they're coming through the house. Okay. Yeah, stay down. Anybody else? What path are they going through here? Uh, I don't know. I guess they could climb in through there and... Huh. Here we are. <laughs> wow. I guess the zombies kind of helped me uh, beat this open. <laughs> zombies over there tearing up my spikes. Okay, do I have? Yeah, I have my bottles with me. Yeah, I haven't made a crossbow yet. Yeah, they gotta be going in through the window, because that's... <laughs> Let's get rid of that scaffold, so, yeah. <laughs> Apparently I set up camp right next to a very odd uh, zombie migration path. <laughs> Instead of a game trail, it's a zombie trail. Anybody else in there? thought there was a bloated guy. Let's see what's in here though. Ooh, hunting rifle parts. Let's scrap that. Uh, well, since I'm right by my base, might as well pick these up. Let's 
go ahead and see your chest. Let's make a dedicated box for gun parts. Okay, so kind of finished my inventory management and ate some food. Let's get rid of this guy. <laughs> He's just swimming through all my spikes, tearing them up. Get over here. Nobody said they were smart. Okay. Um, ooh. That's interesting. Huh. So it looks like the waypoint for the airdrop is not showing up. I know it was in this direction. So maybe I won't be uh, <laughs> getting that airdrop. It's kind of odd because I've. Uh, done this in the past of, you know, oh, I'll just get to it later and never had a problem with them disappearing, so I don't know if this is a recent change or... Yeah. Oh well, live and learn, I guess. Certainly didn't have time to grab it on <laughs> day seven. Um, yeah, I don't think I knew at the time that I was missing glue, so... But anyway, we need to get uh, some more water. That's basically why I haven't uh, made the glue or made uh, the crossbow yet, so. But luckily, we have an <laughs> entire swimming pool of water over here to exploit. Uh, if we can find maybe a, a snowy area, we can gather a bunch of snow all at once, and it'll probably have, you know, all the water we need for <laughs> the rest of the game. A little overpowered. There we go. But thankfully, murky water bottles and empty bottles uh, stack in much larger stacks than they used to. Uh, just the, the regular bottled water, however, still does the stacks of 15. Hmm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we've... Well, I haven't done that. I believe there is a gun safe. I guess we haven't been in this particular building. I don't think it's uh, been long enough for stuff to respawn, so... So I'll be back once I get this thing open. Okay, so we're back. Woo! -hoo. Here we go, mini bikes for <laughs> dumbasses. Sure, you can see it probably says something different, but not that ass is so much better than I try to stay away from the major cuss words. This is such a family-oriented game. <laughs> yeah, so we have at least partially been in here. Okay, I guess it has been long enough for stuff to respawn, because there's no way I would have left that bookcase unexploited. Okay, shotgun, shotgun. Yeah. <laughs> oh, somebody's uh, coming to greet me. So I don't need the flashlight on. This is a little dreary, though, I guess. 
Let's grab that. Nice to find, uh, I don't know, need more technology for one thing, and we also, uh, kind of need another wrench. <laughs> the one we have is pretty, pretty beat up. Another thing we desperately need is more feathers. So, ooh, this place is pretty torn up. I think I really need kitchen stuff. Ooh, leather. Uh, no, oh yeah, there is a scrap. There we go. sure what that's gonna... Okay, it scraps the brass, that's good. gunpowder, maybe. Let's see here, it's 12 o'clock, let's go ahead and open this, and uh, be back in a second. Ooh, nice. Let's see here, I need to get rid of some stuff. Let's go ahead and, well, actually I don't think I have a pistol grip, but let's see here, yeah, we can Grab that, take that. Okay. Now there's probably a wall safe, but I don't know. Not too concerned about it. I'm kind of wondering, I've, mo I've always been under the impression that uh, the loot inside cars never respawns. But so far I'm walking past a lot of cars that I would have thought I would have looked in, but... Maybe I haven't fully exploited this area as much as I... Yeah, because we're behind the bank. There's the bank right over there. I just got a little, a little disoriented. Really? <laughs> okay. Whatever. There'll be plenty more zombies. Yeah, if we can find another 
wrench. That would be awesome. Ooh, car battery. Uh, yeah. Thought we already had some oil, but yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, it switched over as far as my action bar is concerned over to the fire axe, but it's too busy swinging the pickaxe to actually go. Uh, yeah. We don't even know how to make guns, so I'm gonna lay off the gun saves for now. You know, sometimes it's usually either there's a gun safe or bookshelves up in the attic. Of course the bookshelves have a chance for some new recipes. gonna scrap some of these duplicate parts which we actually already have corn so it's actually I guess something we need to do is Am I already wearing yeah something I actually need to do is uh, start planting crops. Nice. Let's read that. We might actually have the leather to make that. Nice. Okay, I believe we can scrap the office chairs. There it is. It's like I know I didn't put it up. <laughs> it is literally on its last leg. So we're getting leather. Aw, just got leather. Which is useful too, but... Oh, there we go. Inventory's full. Yeah, that's... Maybe that should be my next priority, is uh, seeing if there's an appropriate gas station here. Because apparently, just like uh, the poppin' pills, you can find a chemistry station. It is possible to find a workbench. Which certainly would be better than using all of the mechanical parts i found so far just to make one. Not to mention I need a wrench to make it. Uh, but yeah, it's like a wrench, a claw hammer... Uh, 20 mechanical parts, and I believe some other random stuff. That's probably not so bad to get. Here, I can turn that off. Okay. We yeah, have there's several different types of gas stations, so even if I do find one, it's not necessarily the right kind. Maybe I'll find some more feathers somewhere. There we Me. Uh, here I can 
scrap that. So, yeah. <laughs> it's like surely something's getting ready to hit me by now. Okay. Let's wear that. Nice. I wasn't wearing anything in the chest slot. Yeah, not looking too great so far. These are all houses. Ooh, it looks like I've pretty much seen the whole town. <laughs> Someone's tripping over garbage over there. Interesting. It's been raining most of the day. Maybe it's not raining very hard, but I don't seem to really get wet. I don't think I have a lot of uh, um, water resistance. Let's see, there's a diner. Oh, that's a gas station. But is it the right gas station? Yeah, I think we've already been in there, too. <laughs> there we go. I think we already have one of those, but not that quality. Not that the quality particularly matters, but... I saw a bird's nest back there. So, yeah, there's a hole in the garage door. That's typically my favorite way to get in there. So I'm pretty sure I would have seen a workbench if there's one in there. Oh, claw hammer. Grab that. Eat. Yeah, that's what I thought. Nice, honey. Except, okay, we can get rid of these nails. Got another one coming. Looks like they don't want me to loot things. Kind of makes sense. It's certainly in their best interest to. Uh, Prevent me from improving my living conditions. Is there... oh yeah. <laughs> it's like, I think there was a reason why I wanted to loot that. Okay. Oh! <laughs> Missed that. What have we got in here? Ooh, working... Fire Axe Iron Shovel. Hmm. Here we can scrap that, take that. I don't think there's anything else I really want to scrap. Oh, here we go. Get rid of that. Yeah, since we get back essentially 100% of the iron, out of tools, you can actually uh, take those back and smelt them down. 
which is what I need to start doing with brass, because that's going to be my limiting factor when it comes to uh, making bullets and things like that. <laughs> okay. I don't know if y'all caught that, but I opened it up and it had the seeds in there. When I took the seeds out, it then became untouched. Yeah, interesting how that works. So it's able to, you know, loot it again. Okay. Ooh, bird's nest right there. Stare me in the face. Okay, well, this is a shopping cart. I think I'll we can get the last few mechanical parts we need <laughs> before the wrench breaks. Hopefully. Come on. There's one. got one. I mean, we already had one to begin with, but I think this wrench... Yeah, it's got four durability left on it. And... new workbench. That is lootable. Okay, so we're fast approaching the end of the day here. And not really... Hmm. Sorry to say, I could go spend the night in that uh, police station over there. But, <laughs> well, actually... He... Oh man, if there's glue in this box. Okay, no, there's not. <laughs> so, yeah, let's put some gun parts in here. Well, actually, all these tools that I don't need at the moment. I don't need the car battery. I leave the honey there just for, I guess, an emergency stash. Okay, I guess that's pretty well cleaned out. <laughs> I'm actually halfway surprised something's not hitting me in the back right now, but... Oh yeah. <laughs> Last second, it's all that shovel. I think I'll just spend the night in uh, this police station and uh, spend the night looting. Yeah, those are 
easy to break. My trusty scaffolds. That will okay. <laughs> it's somebody, but I have to be a little bit closer to the building. Let's eat that. Scrap. Somebody else coming? Well, off in the distance. This guy just so he's not bugging me all night long. Oh, I'm full. Okay. There's just not much left in that wrench. I'd probably get like one whack out of it and then <laughs> probably no mechanical parts. Okay, so let's get a kind of a little contingency plan because some zombies come from this direction. They could get in here pretty easily, so see about looks like those are stone stairs this might be a little bit on the difficult time side to get rid of I guess the other option would be just barricade the stairs which I don't like that idea quite as much but anyway it looks like this will kind of be it for this episode uh, this was Javita thanks for watching I guess next episode I'll go over uh, if I found anything interesting in here and there's a possibility I might take the next day just to kind of maybe expand uh, the escape tunnel slash mine because we really need more metal basically. So I might take a day or two to kind of farm stuff. Speaking of farming, that's another thing I need to do is uh, get some props going. So, but anyway, uh, like I said, this was Javita. Thanks for watching, and see you next episode.